like Wigo. Move out the way, please don't be a hero. Bling, blow, ooh, she no skateboard P. What it is, what it is, what it is, you two. It's your boy Dust. It's your boy Kate. It's your boy Kogan. And today we got Stray Kids. My role. Oh, Miro, oh, man. Just in the, in the <laughs> Stop 
I'm dead. <laughs> just, just, but just how they, 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 they popped off with it. It was so vibrant. I could feel it in my skin. I was like, I couldn't help but bow my head. I couldn't help but feel it inside my energy. And um, I guess the, the meaning of the video I got was like they're taking over. Like even that they, they, they said at the end, I guess three kids are all over everywhere. I guess because like you can see like they was um like they drove in with the uh, like you know the guys with the canes and like they had on like uh you know like a crown and everything and then like they was on top of like the stage and then that's when like it came in later on in the visual they was on top of the stage so I guess like they're saying like they're the new kings of the city or the new kings of the world or whatever so like they're taking over but I, I like the I like the message they gave with it that's what I got interpreted it from it so it was definitely a dope video. Yo, honestly, when the video first started off, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did like it. I don't know, for some reason, I couldn't I couldn't grasp the beat when it first came in, but I'm kind of glad it went that way because it's like, I don't I, I, honestly, I don't like things to always be the same or be, be in the norm, which is cool because like I said, when it first came on, I was like, dang, how do I catch this beat? How do I figure this beat out? Because I, I, I couldn't hear it at first. I don't know if it was like some way they did it, but yo, I, I like this video, man. I like it for the fact that I felt like they were like rebels. They were like, like we, we about to stand for something. Like I felt like the guys that were in the beginning, I felt like they were trying to get their message and show everybody like, like follow us, follow this, follow that. But then you know, stray kids came in and it's like you know we the rebels, you know we the underdogs, you know. And we taking over. Yeah, like we like follow us, like we gonna they gonna they gonna appreciate they got to say and we gonna appreciate what we got to say. Like so follow us. And I felt like you know, the that uh, that oh 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 uh, 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 yo that. It was rocking, yo. I definitely like that. I definitely like that part of the beat. Like it definitely got me like in a definitely from from when the break like came in. Like the break was it was crazy. Like when they and I love the effect that they threw in there when they kept they kept throwing like I get I don't know if it was the tiger line. I think it was the tiger. Well like like when he did the jump part, like he kinda threw the tiger in there and showed the tiger yeah, that he came yeah, back to the dance. I, like like, that. I thought that was real dope, man. I put him to do, man. But overall, yeah, I like this video from Stray Kids, man. I felt like it it caught me off guard in a way like I don't know, it kind of told a little story, you know, like, and it was it was something I wasn't used to, so but it was cool, man, from Straight Kids, man, cool video, man, definitely. Yo, I'm gonna say, I definitely, I, I feel like I have mixed feelings about this video. For one, I, I definitely feel in the same way Kogan is saying. I feel like when it when it first, for one, yo, I, lo I love when a, a video can, can tell a story, and I definitely feel like, you know, Straight Kids definitely portrayed that, and I feel like... You know, Dust and Kogan, what they both said was kind of like spot on, even though they, they might be wrong, but I feel like it was pretty much as close as we're gonna get to like interpreting what we saw from it. And I kind of felt like the same thing, you know, they were kind of like, you know, join our, our movement, you know, they were actually the, the stray kids out on the, you know, outside and, you know, they wanted you to join their movement. But yeah, I'm gonna say when the beginning, I felt, I felt like Kogan too. Like I, I couldn't really, I couldn't grasp the beat and it was kind of like irritating me a little bit. I kind of like, I want to be able to catch on so much that when I couldn't, it was kind of like, you know, it felt weird to me because normally I can, I can jump into a song or a music video instantly and automatically feel like where the beat is gonna go. And I felt like that was kind of a, a good thing and a, and a weird thing as well. It was like, it was something that, all right, look, I can't figure this out. Like, it's taking me a little while. You know, I can't really like jump into it like I want to. So I kind of, I kind of like that, but at the same time, it was, it was different to me. And I, and I'm not saying it in the, it was a bad way, but it was one part in the song where I felt like, um, when they did the uh, oh, oh 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 when they did that while they were talking, I felt like if they could have like faded that out to where I could hear, not necessarily hear, but just like I felt like that part shouldn't have been over top of them talking. Like mm -hmm. if they were singing or rapping, I felt like that part kind of like should have like leveled out a little bit so uh -huh. you could kind of like hear them. I felt like that was almost like take it. It was it was over top of everything that they were saying a little at, at times and it's like I felt like you know that kind of like if that was to like fade out or fade to a certain point to and where it's like back. yeah and then come back mm -hmm. I felt like you know it would have been like it would have been more spot on because I, I kind of was like moments where I was like yo what is I'm trying to like hear him over top of that but that was so loud it was like 
it was kind of part you was able to. I, I could hear both of you, but it was like it was like they were battling for like mm -hmm. you can hear this, and maybe that was the whole concept of what they were trying to do. But uh, I I would like to to like to like I like to hear their vocals. I like to hear when they, what they gotta say. And, and, and don't get us wrong, it's nothing nothing that we're trying to say bad about the video or anything. It's just it was something we weren't used to. Like honestly, I want to listen to the video. I want to listen to the song again, but I want to listen to it to just audio to see if something changes. Or or it's something different, but mm -hmm. overall, like yeah, it, it might have just been, right. It might I feel like it might have been the, the video or you know mm -hmm. how how it was downloaded or whatever. But yo, when the chorus came in, yo, I don't know what it, what it is about like these these groups now. It may be a thing because I'm starting to catch it with a lot of videos that we've been watching. It's like the group will actually dance with more people, mm -hmm. and it's like they've been doing it in a lot of videos that we've been watching. But yo, that chorus, yo. Yeah. It was lit, yo. I love when, you know, they have a whole bunch of moves or they have, you know, things that they're doing in unison. But just the way, they, to me, that was probably like the most, it was up there with one of like the, the top, like, littest, like, choruses. You know, uh -huh. it was just, it was just hype. You know, it was uh -huh. dope. Dance moves was, you know, they were going all out. Uh -huh. And just the way they carried it as far and as then the wardrobe. The chant, the chant, once the chant, the chant. And yeah, in the wardrobe, yo. They, wardrobe. Dope. That's that's every K-pop. We just got that is true. Just going into every K-pop video moving forward, it's just gonna be dope as far as the words roll. We just gonna keep it at that because yeah, they all neon. Run. How they how they incorporated the neon, but in different types of way between everybody. That was that's what I like the most. Yeah, yeah, and, and just like I, I just really like when a beat can switch. Like I feel like for a beat to stay repetitive. It's cool, but I like. I also like it when a beat can like kind of like throw me off a little bit, like how they had that. Oh, whoa! Yeah, uh, uh, I'm it, saying it, it smoothed down the the the, the chorus in the middle, and then like it kind of leveled it out, and then it got you back, get, getting you ready to get hyped back again for the chorus. So I thought that was real dope, man. Straight kid. I'm gonna definitely say between like the last like couple of videos we've done, you can definitely. I don't see, I don't want to say like this, you can see the same trend, but like within the last couple of K-pop videos that we've done, as far as like newer for this year, you can definitely see that each group is kind of taking it to like an unexpectancy level. Like they're trying to catch you, like all, not like what you're used to seeing from that group, mm -hmm. you know, cause I expected when we watched um, Blackpink for like Jenny and Lisa to kind of like go off or go in, mm -hmm. but they took it to more a different level mm -hmm. than how it was. And you know, same for like, I was expecting like something along the lines of what we seen. And we haven't seen a lot from Stray Kids, but from what we did see, you feel like you get the same thing, but I feel like they kind of like, they want you to see that each group can take it somewhere different. And I, I like that, bro. I like, you know, when people try to step outside and then, you know, maybe this is their box, but mm. I like when, you know, <laughs> groups do something different. So. Yeah, dope video from Stray Kids too. Real quick, one more thing I wanted to say. Also guys, if you could tell us if there's a story behind like, this video and also yeah, other videos concept. connected. Like, is it like a, a Stray Kids type of movement, Stray Kids type of thing? Like, if you guys can help us, you know, figure that out or, you know, just give us a heads up, leave it in the comments below, man. Definitely appreciate that. But we're going to go on ahead and get on out of here. So, once again, my name is Kogan. It's your boy Dust. It's your boy Kate. And that's Skull Pack.